On December 17, 2025, during a meeting of the Collegium of the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation, Defense Minister Andrei Belosov announced that two additional 2-160M strategic missile carriers had been delivered to Russia's long-range aviation branch of the aerospace forces within the year. These aircraft are newly manufactured airframes produced under the revived serial production program at the Kazan Aviation Plant named after Sergei Pavlovich Gorbunov, one of the key enterprises of Russia's aviation industry. The revival of manufacturing, the well-known strategic bomber, did not occur abruptly. After the dissolution of the Soviet Union, the production facility and the broader aerospace industrial sector experienced a prolonged period of decline. Only in recent years did Russian leadership decide to resume serial production of a modernized version of the aircraft, designated 2-160M. The Kazan Aviation Plant, historically one of Russia's main centers for heavy aircraft manufacturing, has become the core site of the 2-160 production revival during the 2020s. This effort went far beyond repairing and upgrading existing aircraft and included the full construction of new airframes from the ground up. The first flight of a newly built prototype aircraft took place on February 2, 2020. After this milestone, the plant conducted an extensive flight test program to confirm the restoration of production technologies and to validate newly installed systems. Serial deliveries began in 2022 following the official restart of full-scale production in Kazan. The production program required the restoration of critical industrial processes, including vacuum welding of large titanium structural components. This technology is essential for manufacturing strategic class aircraft. The updated program also relies on an expanded network of domestic suppliers for airframe structures and onboard avionics ensuring independence from foreign components and improving supply chain resilience for the aerospace forces. As of January 1, 2023, Russia's long-range aviation 2160 fleet was estimated to include approximately 16 aircraft. These airframes existed in varying technical conditions, with some undergoing overhaul or modernization. In February 2023, the Russian Aerospace Forces received the first batch of four newly manufactured 2-160M aircraft. With the delivery of two more aircraft in 2025, the total number of 2160 and 2160M bombers now stands at no fewer than 20 aircraft. This growth reflects a steady and deliberate expansion of Russia's strategic bomber fleet in recent years. According to statements from the Russian General Staff, the newly produced 2-160M aircraft continue to enter service and are strengthening the aviation component of Russia's strategic nuclear forces. The modernized 2-160M is powered by NK-32-02 engines manufactured by UEC Kuznetsov in the city of Samara. These engines offer improved fuel efficiency and enhanced thrust during cruise and high-altitude flight. As a result, the aircraft can achieve speeds of up to approximately 2,400 km per hour at altitudes between about 10,500 meters and 12,500 meters. The aircraft is equipped with a fully upgraded avionics suite that includes advanced navigation, communication, and electronic warfare systems. Key elements include the Novella NV 1.70 multimode radar, the Himalayas Electronic Warfare System, the Redoute 70M Defensive Aids Complex, and a modern navigation system designed to support autonomous operations in challenging environments. These upgrades significantly enhance the 2160M survivability and operational effectiveness in modern contested airspace. Within the context of the special military operation, open source information indicates that the 2160M is employed exclusively as a launch platform for long-range cruise missiles. The aircraft can carry KH-55, KH-555, and KH-101 cruise missiles. The operational range of the KH-55 and KH-555 missiles is approximately 2,500 kilometers.
The KH-101 missile has a range exceeding 5,000 kilometers, depending on the specific variant and flight profile. These ranges allow the missile carrier to operate deep within Russian territory while remaining outside the engagement zones of hostile air defense and electronic warfare systems. In this mode of operation, the Tu-160M does not enter hostile airspace. Instead, it delivers its weapons to optimal launch positions, while the task of penetrating enemy defenses is performed by the cruise missiles themselves, which are stored inside internal rotary launchers. Russian military authorities consider the Tu-160M serial production program to be essential for maintaining the readiness and technical viability of long-range aviation. The aircraft serves as an interim strategic platform that supports fleet renewal until the next-generation PAC-DA bomber enters service. PAC-DA is planned as a stealth strategic bomber that will initially operate alongside the Tu-160M fleet. Over several decades, it is expected to gradually replace it. However, development and serial production of PAC-DA are still ongoing, with operational deployment expected no earlier than the middle to late 2020s. Russia's continued investment in the 160M program highlights its determination to preserve strategic parity and maintain a credible long-range aviation capability amid changing global security conditions. The delivery of two additional Tu-160M White Swan strategic bombers in 2025 underscores Russia's focus on strengthening and modernizing the aviation component of its nuclear triad. The restored production line in Kazan has become a cornerstone of this effort, enabling steady enhancement of long-range aviation capabilities and providing an industrial base capable of supporting strategic bomber operations for decades. The Tu-160M remains the world's largest supersonic bomber and continues to play a central role in the strategic deterrence posture of the Russian Federation. If you like the video, please subscribe, share, and like. Also, please take the memberships to encourage us.